Hello everyone, it's me Cullen back with another shave for you. Uh, tonight I'll be using Okuma by Talbot Shaving. This is a very bright um, aquatic. Um, sorry the lid's off. I had to, I scooped a whole bunch, but apparently it wasn't enough. So I had to uh, wet it and load my brush. So I'm letting it dry and I have the matching splash for it. Um, the razor I'll be using today is going to be the Occam Enoch and it has a It has a razor blade in there. Um, what's it called? Feather Pro. My bowl today will be my Twin Pines wood turning to go with the green color. And then my brush today will be my very first Aka brush. Just joking, AKA Brushworks. And in it, I have my, um, sorry. I have my Typhoon Knot. Um, and so this would be my first run with it to see how it actually feels. Um, so let's get on with the shave. I know the um, soap is very good. I've used it um, many times before. Um, this soap, um, I had a hard time lathering it with this hard water. Um, and so, but it's a very bright, um, aquatic, I'm not sure what all scents are in it. What all the notes are. Um, I know when I first got it, it was, um, soap only, and I believe I liked it enough that I ordered the splash for it, or I might have actually traded the soap that I had, and, uh, then traded something else and got the set. I don't remember. I trade so much stuff. I lose track of what I trade and what I bought. Um, if I did trade, it was either with probably Wayne or Logan. Um, but today I was talking to, um, Sig um, online, he just ordered his, he just got his Enoch, and he said that his, um, his safety bar is off by one millimeter from one side to the other. He emailed them to uh, try to get it straightened out, so hopefully that goes well for him. Um, I haven't had good luck with emailing them. Um, My first Enoch I had, I sold to a uh, CDB. And as soon as I sold it, I regretted it. Um, so I emailed them to find out if they were gonna be on sale anytime soon or back in stock. Um, never got a response. And I emailed them once a month for probably three months. Never got a response back, nothing. Um,
and that's from Classic Shaving. And so my last email I sent him, I told him, you know, I said, you know, I've been trying to find out information on this. I said, but if you can't even um, respond to an email on someone trying to buy something from you, um, what's going to happen when there's a problem? Um, and I said, because of this, um, I said, I'll buy one on the BST instead of spending my money with your company. Um, never got an answer back from that either. Um, but mine, I've, I've never had a problem with it. Um, with either one, this blade, uh, it looks like one side might be a little off, but, um, I don't know. If it is, um, I've never noticed it really affecting the shave. But I got my second one um, on the on the BST, I believe it was. It may have been on uh, Reddit, but anyways, it was on the secondary market. Um, You know, and, um, you know, their website says, um, don't contact us by, um, any of our social media, um, due to COVID, we're only answering emails. Well, joke's on us, because they're not answering anything. Um. But yeah, and so, which to me is really sad because I believe they're a family-owned business. I don't know if they had family problems, something came up that over those months, um, you know, they had a loved one in the hospital or dealing with serious issues. You know, there's plenty of things that could come up that can tie you down in your life for months. Um, so I understand that, but. You know, even months later, they still haven't responded. Um, you know, and, and this razor is going to be tagged in this video. And on Instagram, um, I don't know if they'll watch it. Uh, and I don't know if they'll respond. Um, But I'm all about supporting family-owned businesses. Um, you know, I recently started my own Etsy shop and um, Did I start my own Etsy shop just because I wanted to say I have an Etsy shop or because I want to try to sell stuff and make a few dollars in this hobby, not get rich or anything, but just, you know, have fun. Um, yeah, that's why. So, you know, if someone's messaging me saying, you know, I have a question about this. Or whatever. Uh, to me, it just makes sense to answer them, but, you know. But enough with the negativity. I polished mine, um, and it has definitely improved uh, the glide and how it feels on the skin. Uh, this soap from Talbot is... Um, this scent, I would call this scent strength a, on the very highest spectrum of hot, uh, medium, 
um, or medium high, just fixing to creep into the high range. Um, you know, the, um, you know, a lot of these soaps, at least for me um, and my bad nose, um, if it's not on my face, and right under my nose, I can't smell it. This scent has the entire bathroom just smelling like this beautiful aquatic. Um, so I'm really enjoying this. Um, it's slick, the scent strength is beautiful. Uh, this handle from AKA, this is my first one of theirs. Um, And it caught my eye. See, when you're a bad shaver, you could bad shaver. Um, you could pimp slap yourself. Um, but when I got, when I saw this brush, I just had to have it. And, um, and my buddy Wayne watches this, he's probably gonna laugh at me. Uh, Cause, you know, he always calls me out on being such a brush hoe. Um, But, you know, he realizes that the reality of it is I'm just a wet shaven hoe. Um, I just enjoy every aspect of it. Um, but this brush, it really caught my eye because look how daggum bright it is. Plus, it reminded me of, uh, you know, the 60s, the tie dye. Um, you know, and so then today I was um, on the prowl, as Wayne calls it, um, on Etsy, and I saw that on on AKA they posted a another brush, the same color. But it's a taller one with a cool, uh, I don't have any brushes that are cut the way this one's cut, so. Um, brush hoe away. Um, you know, I saw it and. I'm like an 80s crackhead, you know, I start scratching and uh, I had to get it to stop the, you know. Be out there turning tricks for shaving good soon. Um, And uh, my man Sig, Sig Solo over in Greenland, I believe he is, uh, ordered a Twin Pines wood turning bowl. And he ordered a black and yellow, black and gold. It's real cool. It's his, uh, I believe it's his channel's colors. You know, this razor isn't very... It's very mild feeling, but it's a good razor. Um, I enjoy it. Um, but he ordered a black, he had to make him a black and gold one um, to his colors of his logo, I guess. 
And I guess the first one they made, um, wasn't to his liking. Uh, so they poured another one. And if you notice, my hands are all stained and colored. I was dyeing leather today and um, I got all in a hurry and uh, forgot to put on my gloves and so dyed my hands. Um, but let me get this moved over and, uh, oh, but like I was saying, so he ordered, um, they poured him another one and that one apparently was a winner. And so he bought that one and, uh, I didn't know that he had ordered one. I saw that one and, uh, message though. Uh, they gave me the 10% off. Um, and, uh, yeah, so now I got another bowl coming. Um, I sent my other bowl off to, um, get my logo engraved on it. So we'll see how that turns out when it comes back, but let me get cleaned up and I'll be right back with you. All right. We are back to recap today. We used Talbot Shaven Okuma, um, very, very bright aquatic scent. Um, after my shave, rinsed with hot water, cold water, witch hazel. Um, and then I used my skin juju juicer. Now we're gonna finish it off with some splishity splash. Ah, smells so good. All right, so that's some good stuff there. Um, all right, then we use the Twin Pines Wood Turning Green Resin Bowl today. The Occam's Enoch um, that I have polished up and it um, glides a whole lot better now. My AKA Brushworks uh, new brush and my typhoon knot um or is it typhoon hold on let me check i was calling the wrong things here i have a cheat sheet tsunami that's what it's called tsunami knot um this thing is so soft and great feeling um If you want one, message me. Um, I should have some more um, in stock shortly. I'm waiting for some new knots to come in so that I can start uh, treating them and making them. Um, don't forget uh, Twin Pines Wood Turning. If you go to their site, find a bowl that you like, like this one's on there, you click on it. You look at it, scroll down, and it says Contact Seller. Contact them, message them, say, hey, I'm interested in this bowl. Um, I subscribe to Pelagic Shave. Um, here's the code, Pelagic Shave 10. You have to tell them Pelagic Shave 10. And they will say, okay, let me adjust the price. I'll let you know when it's ready. They'll go in, take 10% off the price. She'll message you, tell you when it's ready. And then you can put it in your cart and pay for it and you'll be good to go. Um, but that was today's shave. Tomorrow, I'm not sure what we're going to use. Um, how about tomorrow? We'll use Southern Witchcraft Carmilla. Um, that's what we'll use tomorrow. Uh, brush. I don't know what brush we'll use tomorrow. We'll see what matches with that. And we'll go from there. Uh, tomorrow we might do a straight razor shave. We may not. The, you never know with me. Uh, but thank you for tuning in. Um, hope to see you back again soon. And uh, please stay safe. Take care. Uh, shave. Enjoy your shaves always. Um, if you start to not enjoy it, you're doing something wrong. Uh, but take care. Be safe. And uh, most importantly, God bless.